For this lesson, we'll be going over Karnoff maps, also known as K-maps. K-maps are an array of cells in which each cell represents a binary value of the input variable. Shown below, I have a three variable K-map and a four variable K-map. You can do K-maps with five variables. However, I will not be going over those in these lessons due to time constraints. So let's go ahead and go further on as far as our K-map process, as well as the rules of how to attack it. To understand K-maps, there's a very simple process. There are three steps. Step one, lay out the map based on the number of variables. So if you have three variables, there'd be a three variable K-map, four variables, four variable K-map, as shown below. Next, you fill in the K-map based on the truth table or expression. The example I show below here has an expression going to a K-map. Next, you group all the ones or zeros, depending on what you're trying to find, in groups of one, two, four, eight, and 16. And we'll go over that in more detail in later slides. When executing the process and utilizing K-maps, there are rules to abide by. As stated earlier, it must be in terms of one, two, four, eight, and 16. The terms must be perpendicular of each other, so you can't have ones or zeros diagonal each other that you can group. And last but not least, and this is the most important, the biggest groups possible and the least amount of groups. So your whole goal there is to have all your ones or zeros, depending on what you're trying to find, all in the same group. Groups may overlap, as well as don't cares, which they'll be known as X's, can be used in any form, in any way natural. And we'll go over that in an example later on. As shown on the previous slide, terms must be in groups of one, two, four, eight, and 16. Groups of two, which is shown in red, can go horizontal or vertical and is circling just two midterms. You can have groups of four, whether it's corners, you can have it in squares, or you can have it in rows and columns. As shown in light blue, I actually have one that's in a row and then the purple would be in our four corners. And rows and columns can also be eight. You can have two rows and two columns and that would also create a group of eight. And of course, the last but not least, if all 16 cells have a one in it, that would also give you a group which come up with an output of one. As we talked about earlier, you can group ones or zeros. The trick is to understand what the problem is asking for. Are you looking for the sum of product or your product of sum? Easy way to determine that is if you see a lowercase m, that's your midterms, that's your sum of product. If you see an uppercase m, that's your max terms, product of sum, or your zeros in this case. So be aware if you see this on a problem somewhere, you can look in your FE reference manual and these same equations will be displayed for you. So if you ever forget, just refer to that handbook. Let's go ahead and jump in some examples just so we can get our feet wet. So this one will start off with an easy one. This one's gonna have three variables, A, B, C, and we're gonna use a truth table to actually fill in our K-map. So I'm gonna fill out our truth table with the output already filled in. So let's see, let's go ahead and do zero. Let's do one, zero, uh, let's do two, why not? Let's just do one, zero, one, one, one. So let's go ahead and input the first one in our K map. Zero, zero, zero. So A is zero, B is zero, C is zero. Well, that's gonna be zero. Second one is zero, zero, one. So we have zero, zero, one. And that would be binary two. Binary two is gonna be zero. Binary three is one. Binary four is zero. Binary five is one. And it looks like the rest of these are one as well. Yep, that's correct. All right, so we need to go ahead and group these. So looking to our right, row one, we have to have a group of one, two, four, eight, and 16. And then Obviously, they must be perpendicular to each other, and it must be the biggest group possible. Well, already off the bat, I already see a group that I like. I see a group of four. I'll tell you what, just to keep it simple on us, let's see if I can change my colors here. So, I like this group of four right here, so I pick this as a group. 
it does fit all three of our rules and it actually take up a quite a bit of inventory which is great so for this one let's see if we can come up with the actual uh, equation so this one's going to be well we have a and a naught taken up in this group so those cancel each other out b and b naught in this group so that cancels each other out so this group equals c because the two consistent variables C equals 1. So this one, it's going to be C. And go back to my other color up here. So it's going to be plus. And then we have another group. I see a group right here. Unfortunately, I cannot use that third variable because it has to be a group of 2, 4, 8, and 16. So I will go ahead and use these two. And again, you are allowed to overlap, so I'm utilizing part of that four block into a two group. So we have A as a consistent variable, so because A naught wasn't used, so right now we're already looking at A. And then we have, looking at these two groups, we have B as a consistent variable, because B equals 1, B equals 1. However, C has C and C naught, so C naught will not be used, so it's actually a, B, because that right there is consistent, and that's consistent. So that would give us a final equation, as we see right here, A, B, plus C, and, that would, and that's what X equals. Let's go ahead and move on to a harder problem, where we have actually four variables. This example looks like a fun one. This one, we have four variables, and... We have an equation this time instead of a truth table. So let's see if we can fill in this k-map using this equation. So the first one I have is a naught, b naught, and d. So you have to actually put ones in every block, which is a naught, b naught, and d. Well, a naught would be everything in this row. We have b naught again, everything in this row, and then d. Well, that would be that one that one and then that looks like everything we have and again I only looked at the a naught b naught a naught b naught and then I looked at D which is these two blocks so you kinda have to do the uh, connect four and match them up okay next I'm gonna do a naught so all the ones that a naught which would be these first two rows C which would be these two rows and then you have D which is just this row right here so this would only fill out let's see if I can fill that in right and it would be this one which has already been marked with a one okay next one is A naught C naught D so we're looking at A naught which is again the first two rows C naught, which is would be the first two columns, and then D, which would be second column, and that's it. So again, we have this one already filled in, and it would be that one. So right there, we already have a group that's easy to find. So now you're going to have some of these overlap sometimes. Every time you get an equation, it's not going to always be a single block or uh, blocks that have not been taken up. For this example, it seems to be that two of our uh, variables actually overlap another one, which is good. It makes it easier on us. So looking at this, I actually have a simple group of four. And then they are perpendicular to each other, and it's the biggest group I can come up with because it's literally all the variables. So a group of four. This would come out to be A0 because B has a contradicting uh, input which is B naught B so actually I'll just put it over here A naught and then we have well it's not C because C naught and C contradict each other they cancel each other out so it would be D so this would give us a final answer of A naught D and that would give us our output it's actually a fairly simple one 
Let's step it up a notch on the next one. Make it a little bit. This one looks a little bit bigger, but we'll still go ahead and tack it. All right, same thing as last time. We're our, we have an equation, and we're going to input it into our K-map and see if we can come up with a simplified answer. This one has all the variables already laid out for us. We don't have to assume any. They have A, B, C, D, which is our K-map. For example, we have A naught, so that's A naught, and this one's A naught. Then we have B and C and D. So A naught, B, which is this row, so it has to be this row, C, D, which is this block. On a four variable K-map, anytime they provide all four variables, it's going to be that one block. So it's pretty easy to actually narrow these down. Okay, A, B, C, D, that's the next one. So I have A, B, C, D, that's another easy one. Next is A not B, A not B, okay, so it's going to be this row. And then we have C not D not, C not D not, there's a one. All right. And AB, so it's going to be this row, and then C naught, D naught. Oh, that one looks fun. Alrighty. So, uh, this one doesn't look like it's going to be an easy one group. This one looks like we're going to have to break it up in two groups. So, I'll tell you what, I'll switch colors since we have two different ones. I see a group right here. And we'll go ahead and fill it in off to the side here. So I have, well, we have A and A naught, so that cancel each other out. So we have B, so I'll come over here and put B. And then I have C naught, D naught, since it's in the same column. C naught, D naught. And we're going to put that as plus. I'll take a little switch colors up. And we have a group right here. And same concept. I'm going to go to the left here. Well, A and A not cancel each other out, so it's going to be B as well. So we have B. Same column. So I have C, D. So this one's going to be C, D. Get another fairly easy one. N equals X. So I've taken this long equation and narrowed it down to this equation just by using a K map. That took less than six minutes, so that'll be our final answer. This one right here looks a little bit more tedious because we have a mix and match between the variables. However, just like last time, we're going to attack it one at a time. So, let's go ahead and look at this one. We'll start with A naught, B naught, C naught, D naught. So I have A naught, B naught, C naught, D naught. Okay, one right there. Next, A naught. B naught, A naught, B naught, C, D, uh, C, D naught, excuse me, C, D naught, there's a one, so that's that one, that's that one, next, A, B naught, well, I have down here, A, B naught, and then C naught, D naught, that's a one right there, so next, A, B naught, A, B naught again, C, D naught, and then we have C D naught. Nice. Okay. Next we have A naught B D. So all the ones that have A naught B D. So A naught would be the first two rows and then B D. So, so we have A naught B D, which was A naught B, so it's gonna be just this row only, and then all the D's. So we have this guy and this guy. Again, I was just looking right here and those would be D. Last one, A not B, A not B, same row, and all the ones with D not. So that would be that one and that one. So it would create a K map as you see right here. Now then we need to see if we can find the groups. Well, looking at this, I see one group of four, and then we have a little mini groups down here. However, one of the tricks you can do is you actually can take the corners because the corners would create its own group. So I'm going to go ahead and switch colors. We're going to attack the corner group. So that guy, that guy, that one, and that one. Since they create a group, 
Let's go ahead and see if we can come up with that equation. Now this one gets a little difficult, so just take it little by little. So I have a b naught and then a naught b naught. So it's going to be b naught because the a's canceled out, so it's already b naught. Okay, so we did. So we did that side. Okay. So I have c naught d naught and then I have c d naught. So this one's going to be d naught because the c's canceled out. And that would take care of the four corner group. And all we have left is this group right here. Group of four, because the whole goal is to create the biggest group possible. So this would create a group of A naught B. Because since we used the whole row, it negated this the C D. So it's A naught B. So it's gonna be plus A naught B. Now some of you may ask, well why can't I do this group? or even go this loop and loop around? You could. The only problem is you, would be, uh, you wouldn't be able to follow rule number three. You want to create the biggest groups possible and the least amount of groups. If I was able to take the four corners and make that a group and then take this row and make it a group, I just created the two biggest groups I could as well as the least amount of groups. So simplifying this whole problem down into this one little equation saves you a lot of time and energy. The whole goal is to solve these in less than six minutes, and you were able to do that just by doing a K-map. Let's do one more problem. For this last example, this is going to be something a little different than we're used to. So we're going to tackle this one by looking at the don't cares, as well as trying to understand these groups. Well, the good news about don't cares, you can use them any way you want. You can use them to create a group, you can ignore them, you can use them to make your midterm, max terms, any way you want. So the whole goal is about using these don't cares and making the biggest group possible. Well, let's go ahead and look at what we need to do. We need to create our groups of 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16. They need to be perpendicular, and they need the biggest groups possible. And we need to make sure we have groups that we tackle all the ones. Or in our, you can do zeros as well, but ours is going to be the ones. Off the bat, I already see a group that can tackle two ones. So I want to go ahead and switch colors again. And I see a group right here. The whole goal is so you group your ones. We don't care about the don't cares. Hence the term, we don't care. So we have a whole row used. That means it's A not B. Switch colors again. So I'm going to go ahead and make that a plus. Uh, let's pick another color. Let's pick something really outrageous. Now, we have one more group. I have a one. I can make a two group, but I have a whole bunch of don't cares also to the right of it. So looking at it, I can probably make a four group. Unfortunately, an eight group is out of the question, and sixteen group is not the is not going to happen. And a sixteen group would take up the whole entire map. So I think a four group would be my next best bet, and that actually covered all the ones. We have some don't cares that weren't covered. We don't need them. So this group would come out to be A naught. The B and B naught cancel each other out. And then we have C naught D and then C D. Well, the C would cancel out. And then we have D. And that would be our final equation right there. 